We're live together. Hello, if you're catching this on the replay, my name is Josh. That's Babe behind the camera. She just got out of the shower and refuses to be on camera, but this is a cooking live stream. Today we're going to be doing knockoff chilaquitas, which the real Mexican version, you know, you get the tortillas and the oil and everything like that. We're just going to be using some tortilla chips, but I found this recipe online a long time ago and it's really, really good. So behind me is some pork chorizo. Not soy rizo. Not soy rizo. Pork reason. We have three people watching. We have three people watching. I'm gonna just check my phone. But I don't know how, who because they need to say hello. Yes. So I'm gonna check my phone right now mm -hmm. on YouTube to make sure that we're broadcasting good. Make sure the audio is good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I see. Oh, there we go. Jacqueline and Dad. Kent is here. Keith is here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. So that seems hello. to be working well. Babe is going to read the comments mm -hmm. and put your comments up on the screen. Yes. So. Kent said hi to you, but he did not say hi to me. <laughs> yeah, babe. Yeah. So we have two cast irons. We're doing this in the cast iron. And eventually I'm going to build this in one of the cast irons and I'm going to put it in the oven at like 400 degrees for eight or 10 minutes to kind of bring it all together. But the first thing is <laughs> first, we have to cook the chorizo. So this cast iron is just getting warmed up and we're going to get this chorizo cooking up. Chorizo doesn't look very attractive when you first do it. Right or ever. Chorizo is delicious, babe. Soy rizo, is also, soy, rizo. soy rizo is also delicious. Oh, it's so yucky. Mm. There we go, Kent. Thank you. Good morning. Let's show that to everybody so that I feel good. Yes. Hot mama back here with wet hair and no makeup, so but, I'm hiding. But mm -hmm. babe makes really good eggs. They're, they're kind of over easy, kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect eggs that we're going to set on top of this dish. So she is going to come, once I build it all, she's going to come and make three eggs. I am? Yes, babe. Do I yeah. have to? Yes, babe. We already discussed this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I love chorizo. I know why. It's so good. Such a gut punch. Okay, so we're going to lay down some, and I got all mild. Normally I would get spicy green sauce, but I got all mild because the little guy will not eat spicy. Green enchilada sauce. Which is our favorite. Salsa verde, thick and chunky, like oh. me. <laughs> also our favorite. Green, mild. Three eggs. Tortilla chips. Mm -hmm. Monterey Jack cheese. Chorizo. Eggs, I already said eggs, we're gonna go on top. So we haven't been live, babe, and we haven't been live in a, hot in a while. I know. We've been having some weird schedules going on. I know. Our video schedule has been weird. We haven't gone live that much. Mm -hmm. We've been off. I know. That's okay. It's like making a big comeback. We're making it we're making a comeback. Don't sure. call it a comeback. No. Oh, I cooked 16 racks of ribs and rib tips for the Iowa-Michigan game today. Ooh. Started at 5. One tired boy right now. Wow. That's awesome. Are you putting comments on the screen, babe? Yeah. <laughs> if anybody I put has. the one that said, hello, Bethany, you hot mama. Oh, oh. It's kind of biased. That's the only one I put up. Do we have any more coffee? Yeah, you just got to put it in there. I'm going to squeeze, should I use a new Keurig pot or should I squeeze a little bit? Squeeze a little out of here, out of mine. Out of that one. What, um, who's playing today? Is there football games today? College. Oh, college football. Oh, we're Ohio State. We are? Yeah. So that's where Rory went. Oh. So <clears throat> he's a huge Ohio State fan. So we just go with him. Unless we like the Oregon Ducks. Wait, is that a hockey team? Or are they a baseball team? We don't live in Oregon. I know, but that's close to me. Shane's here. Shane's here. Hello from South I-75. He's heading home. Where are you heading home from, Shane? Are the, is the Oregon Ducks a football team? Yeah. Oh, I like them. <laughs> They're good, too. I like them. And Ohio State. Why don't you talk to everybody how you think the 49ers are going to the Super Bowl? Well, everybody, I placed a bet <clears throat> in Las Vegas that the Niners would be going to the Super Bowl. And guess what? Guess what? So far, they're what? 4-0? They're undefeated. They're undefeated. Now that they got rid of... Oh, no! Oh, babe. No. That pepper stuff, guys. Now, they're going to come back, and they're going to make a comeback, and they're going to be the greatest team again. 
<laughs> Again. It's going to be like when they had Joe Montana and Steve Young and Jerry Rice and the other famous people that were on there. No point. On that team. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. The trees are coming along nicely. Uh oh. <clears throat> Hey, babe. Yeah, sorry. Um, <clears throat> yes. Shane, what have you been up to? Okay. You can see the cast iron here, babe? It does smell pretty good. I know it does. It smells pretty good. So, what we're going to be doing, now that I spilled in gelato sauce all over myself, Uh huh. you can see this? Iron. Yeah, I can see okay. it. I can see it just fine. I'm going to start with the green enchilada sauce on the bottom. Okay. It's like a little layer. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see it perfectly. Babe. I need to get a new camera set up. It's good. Next. Next, babe. Is that chorizo done? It's done. It is? Yeah. I can't tell the difference between cooked and uncooked. That's not true. <laughs> We're going to get our oven fired up. 400. We'll let that get working. Black coffee isn't bad, actually. Black coffee is the best. Chip. Yeah. Some days I just need black coffee. I'm taking handfuls of chips. And I'm making a little chip mess. <laughs> this breakfast actually makes me laugh. I've been to Mexico numerous, numerous times, and they mm -hmm. sure do serve beans for breakfast and chips yeah, for breakfast. It's delicious. They sure do. It's delicious. Every food that they make is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh huh. It's awesome. So next, we're gonna take our thick and chunky salsa. Wow, that's intense, babe. It's mild though. No, I mean it just looks like intense. And we're gonna spread that on top of the chips. Okay. Do you feel See? like? You should have had cocktails before eating this or no i feel like i needed a smaller i needed a smaller thing this is going to make food for 25 people and it's just yeah three of us yeah two of you oh yeah whatever <laughs> so next next babe yeah next is a little fun Ooh, not are you sure that's been that's done yeah it's also going in the oven again okay we're just going to spread it around a little bit. My stomach's hurting looking at this. Literally, it's going to... It's going to be awesome, babe. Be awesome, yeah. Okay. A little bit of chorizo. Okay. Okay. All right. Cheese. Okay. What's our comment saying? Are people backing No, me nobody's on? commenting. No, nobody's backing me on this play? No. Nobody. Okay, cheese. And then, babe. Yeah. Another layer. Okay. What What do you guys think of chorizo? Do you eat this stuff over there on the East Coast? Midwest? Another layer, babe. Or is this literally just a California thing? Another layer of awesomeness. Mm hmm okay. Another layer of pain. Then, more thick and chunky. So you don't put any more enchilada sauce on it? No, that was just the base at the bottom. Okay. More thick and chunky. Okay. So now what happens in the oven other than it getting hot? It's going to get hot. <clears throat> Does it kind of like get soggy? Yeah. Okay. It's going to be awesome. Keith said he's with me. No way that chorizo's done yet. <laughs> it's going in the oven, and it is done. It's boiling hot, and it's bubbling. <laughs> you guys are crazy. And they love chorizo in, in Indiana? Not India. Not India, baby. <laughs> it says India. Oh, well. But I'm assuming that's Indiana, right? That's where Keith the tag is? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Maybe they love it in India, too. Maybe. Maybe this cast iron skillet is really, really heavy. Oh, I bet. <laughs> and that is all going to go in your gut. Okay. So more chips, more salsa, more chorizo, more cheese. That's what we need. Baby, you almost ready to cook the egg? Oh, shoot. Do I have to do that before it goes in the oven? Yeah. No, no. No. No, we're going to set the egg on when it's all done. How long is it going in the oven for? Like 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Or even less, maybe. Maybe even <clears> less. I would broil it. It's at 400. I mean, that's basically broiled. It's not. 
Yeah. Your um, chorizo pan is on. Uh, Are you wanted on? Okay. You're doing good, babe. We're doing good. Coming right along. Hey, Easy Bake. How's it going? Easy Bake. Josh and Babe and Babe. That's right. Oh, let's just put that up there on the screen. <laughs> I like when I get love. Everybody's got some really fantastic logos lately. Dang. Who's designing these logos? That's cool. Okay, it's going in. No, not yet. Oh. I'm just trying to. Oh, leprechaun's here. Leprechaun's What's up, here. Leprechaun. Leprechaun can appreciate some chorizo. Yeah. Okay. Perfect, babe. Perfect. Okay. Next. It's almost time to go in the oven, and it's almost time for you to make the eggs. Babe. Okay. You're going to make the egg in the chorizo cast iron. Okay. Three eggs. Okay. Perfectly beautiful eggs. Got it. Got it. Got it. I mean, why would we not use a whole bag of chips? Daryl from Bad Beef Barbecue is making these logos. Oh, nice. <clears throat> they look great. A little bit more. Okay. I mean, that is a pretty um, simple recipe. Yeah. A little more green. Thick and chunky. For those that like to be punched in the gut in the morning. Okay. I'll just keep saying it until you acknowledge me. Babe, it's not going to punch you in the gut. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Amazing, babe. Okay. Green's done. Oh, that's done. Chef is here. Chef Johnny's here. He said, what are you cooking, you big goober? Okay. What are you cooking, babe? We're cooking, we're cooking knockoff chilaquitas. Not real, Chuck. Not real. Not real. Not knockoff. No, not knockoff. Easy. That was a whole bag of cheese, babe. I mean. The easy version. Boy, oh boy, this video is costing a lot for us to have a couple bites of food. <laughs> Maybe we should go to the neighborhood and see if anybody like just walk around with the hot cast iron. Yeah. And be like, would you like a bite? Would you like a bite? Or we could go feed the homeless. Can I do that? Out of the cast iron? No, we could put it in a to-go box and go give no. it to a homeless man who looks hungry. So you want to knock off chilaquitas? Yeah. All right. Let me show the camera before we put it in the oven. Let me recap for Chef. Okay. What's going on here? Cast iron. Okay. Is this good, babe? You can see it? No, you got to get up closer. Way closer. Lady Anne, good morning. There you go. That's better. Mm -hmm, much okay. Better. Green enchilada sauce in the bottom. Crushed tortilla chips. Chunky salsa verde green salsa. Chorizo. Monterey Jack. Another layer of chips. Another layer of thick and chunky salsa. The uh, Why am I? I'm having a brain freeze. Salsa verde, thick and chunky. More cheese, more chorizo, more chips, layered by layered by layered. This is all going to go in a 400 degree oven to get all delicious. Then, babe, well, it's in the oven. Babe is going to do some eggs, and we're going to put eggs on the top, and then we'll be ready to eat. That's that, good, babe. Good, babe. You can see it. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Okay. That's so beautiful. The oven is just preheating, it's almost done. Well, what are you going to talk about while we have this 10 minutes? I don't know. How many people are in here? Uh, 12. 12 people in here. Yeah. We haven't gone live in a while. We're going to work on our um, video schedule. We need to be more consistent. Mm -hmm. um, if we're transitioning into wintertime, so it's going to be more fall dishes. Mm -hmm. I love fall. And, yeah. I like fall. I like, I don't, I'm not a pumpkin spice girl. You're not a pumpkin spice. I'm not a basic girl. Um, Strong's Adventures is here. Hello. Layer hello, hello. Flavor. That's right. Lep. Um, I'm not a basic, basic bee. You're not a basic bee? With a pumpkin. I don't really like pumpkin. I like pumpkin pie, and that's about Babe, it. how good is that going to be? Once it gets all soft and all those different salsas and yeah. the enchilada sauce and the chorizo. Yeah, I'm not a spice girl. No. It's going to be amazing, baby. I, um, it's going to be amazing. This cast iron right here, baby, is going to use with the chorizo remnants to make the eggs. Yeah, pumpkin anything sucks. <laughs> I'm not a 
So we have the children for Thanksgiving this year. We uh -huh. do not have the children for Christmas. It's just me and babe on Christmas. Yeah. And then we have the children for New Year's. Right. Which everything is up in the air. So we will see. Right. And you're supposed to come up to Reading for Christmas before Thanksgiving. Correct. You're supposed to drive up at 4 a.m. You're going to leave on Alleged Thanksgiving. Allegedly. Oh, you might not come. <laughs> um, We're having some black coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a little car show today that we might go to. A little and fall festival. A little fall festival, and just we'll hanging out. I think we're going to barbecue some burgers tonight. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Take David to the bounce place. Yeah, that's what's mm -hmm. going on here. On this live cooking show, babe, which yeah. we've been slacking on our lives. Yeah. Chef, consistent on his lives. Mm -hmm. Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue, consistent. Everybody's yeah. consistent, not us. Well, we have a funky schedule, you know? So sometimes a festival of little cars. Yes, it's a festival of little cars. <laughs> now we're going to go to Josh's work is hosting a car show. So we're going to go by that. It said muscle car show, any car welcome. I was going to enter the Prius. Oh my gosh. I wish you would have. That would be so fun. I can just have the doors open and like on display with a rope around it saying do not touch the car. Why didn't you do that? The Prius is an electric muscle car. I wish you would have done that. That would be so <laughs> funny. And then there's um, at our brewery out here, they throw a lot of events at the brewery. Um, so we're going to go there. They're having a big fall festival with kids stuff. And All right, I'm putting it in, babe. I can't wait any longer. I'm getting too hungry. I think you should put it on broil, but. I'm you putting it in there. for 10 minutes at 400. Um, Alexa. Yeah, I wish. Chef, set a timer for 10 minutes. I sure wish. Hey babe, you're up. No, the eggs take two minutes. I don't want them to get cold. Uh, I really don't want to get on camera. You have to, babe. You have to. Chef demands it. Do you need an egg ring? Sure. You or, or are you just doing it old school? I like to do it old school. Okay, you do it old school. That would have been great if he would have done that with the Prius. I agree. I think that would have been so <laughs> funny. Wait, oh, the chili cook-off is next weekend with your work. Yeah. But you said we can't cook. They asked you to cook. No. You said no. No, that's not true. Okay, what happened? At, at different divisions have different things. They just asked me to help. They, they didn't ask me personally. They just asked a bunch oh, of people to volunteer. It's, um, not, it's not for, like, anybody can't enter. It's not like that kind of chili cook-off. I know. It's just people at your work, right? Mm -hmm. So why can't we enter? Why can't we enter for your work? You can't. For your office. You can't, babe. So they think they're better. No. Babe, no. Who makes the chili? Uh, you get a team. Mm -hmm. of your coworkers, and then you think of your best chili recipe. It's a competition between divisions at work, mm. not individuals. Yeah. yeah, I know. Okay, you ready to make the eggs? No. It only takes two minutes. I know, but by the time that you get it going on. Okay, can you wipe the cast iron out? You told me you wanted the, the, the oh, juice. Okay, you want the juice? Okay. <laughs> it's making every excuse in the whole world as to not, as to not come and do the eggs, but she's the egg master, so... There we go. I don't want to be on camera. There you go. Now your pan is clean. Fine. Let me take my coffee. Let me get you a little plate. You can put your three beautiful eggs on a plate. And yeah. I haven't done my hair. Oh my up. goodness. I didn't want to be. It's awesome. like tag team wrestling. Yeah. It Tapping is. in. Look, everybody, there's Babe. Really don't want to be on camera. But here I am. Here you are. Talk me like a hurricane. That's right, babe. Now I'm behind the computer. Now I'm running the show. Hello, everyone. Hello. Here I am in all my glory. <laughs> out of the shower. <laughs> oh, boy. Is anybody on there? Yeah. Yeah? Let's see. What's Chef Johnny having? It's 12 o'clock there. What's Chef Johnny having for lunch? Ooh. Probably something amazing. Um, I want to know all of the YouTube cooks. Do they cook like amazing stuff all day, every day? Like when you're cooking just a random lunch on a Saturday, are you still cooking something really fantastic? I don't know. When you cook breakfast on Monday through Friday, are you still making really fantastic stuff, or are you, or do you do like normal people do and sometimes grab things to go or easy <laughs> stuff? Like a bar. 
yeah, like I found myself not working much this week down here or at all this week. And I made chicken salad that took me like 45 minutes. I made a homemade chicken salad for lunch. Like chicken, like, like not chicken, not, not grilled chicken, but like a, like a tuna salad, you know? Yeah. Because a salad probably. Chicken. I have a video, a fish video later, so the fish will be my meat for the day. Okay. I wanted to film the my friend went fishing and gave us a bunch of yellowfin tuna, mm -hmm. and we made and we made this really nice dish last night, but Babe wouldn't let me film a video. <laughs> it's not true. You can film a video. Griddle and Grandpa says the brains of the operation is now at the helm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm here. I'm here making my eggs. Making your eggs. Mm -hmm. So what kind of eggs are these, babe? Are these like sunny? Well, you don't like the kind that are runny. You don't like runny eggs. So do you want me to do them like medium? Medium. Okay. They gotta be a tiny, tiny bit runny because they run into the chips. Yeah. But not too gnarly. Not too not too wet. Okay. Not too wet. Yeah. Aye, aye, Captain. Like over medium, maybe. Got it. Yeah. That's the that's the plan. Okay. Yeah, man, you got 11 people. You have, you have 11 people in the chat. Yeah, hello, uh -huh. everybody. How you doing? How you doing? What's everybody else doing today? We haven't even decorated for fall or anything, babe. Babe, hey, that's, that's, that's your that's job. That's a me thing, I know. Yeah. I'm going to video picante fish with some homemade salsa Ooh. and a flounder filet. Oh, that sounds really good. Yeah, babe, yeah. Sounds nice. Ooh, hey. Maybe I should turn that volume mm -hmm. down on that YouTube. With eight thumbs up, man. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Thank you for that. Appreciate yeah. it. Let's see here. Yeah. Alexa, how much longer is left on our timer? You have five minutes left on your 10 minute timer. Okay. You should open the oven and see how that's looking in there. You bet it's looking fantastic. It's looking pretty darn good. Good? It smells really good. Yeah, babe. Yeah. It does smell good. I will admit that. And then you're gonna flop some eggs on it. Oh, I forgot, Ben. What? Cilantro in there. We gotta, we gotta take cilantro. Okay. Yeah. Because you top it off with fresh cilantro, of course. Oh, so it's a really fresh dish. Yes, it's super fresh. Yeah. Super fresh. Yeah. Yeah, man. Fresh, organic cilantro. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, babe. Forgot about that. Can't forget the no. freshness factor. That's right. The fresh factor. After that, I will do an unstuffed cabbage roll. Ooh. Chuck Johnny comes up with some pretty good video ideas. Yeah, he does. How's your eggs looking, babe? They're looking good. I had to move them over here to the middle a little bit because they were um, not cooking on the edges. We can't see. I don't think I've <laughs> ever made eggs in a cast iron like this. No? Mm-mm. Kind of hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a, it's kind of like on the blackstone, babe. Kind of, but not really, because on the edge over here it hangs off, so there's no heat. Oh. To cook. Well, you can turn the heat up more. It's on really super low. Low and slow. <laughs> it's low and slow. Always wins the day. Always wins. Mm -hmm. Low and slow. Yeah, babe. And then you have to take an awesome thumbnail picture. Yeah. I've been doing recipes that I can also share on my diet form. People are asking me for meal ideas that will work on the diet. Oh. The chef's lost like 45 pounds. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, chef. Yeah. Good job. Congratulations. He's been on a rampage. What diet is it? I don't know. I don't know what kind of diet it is. Is it keto? I, I have no idea. What are you doing, chef? Is it keto? A sushi bowl. We did a poke. Our one of our very first videos ever was a poke bowl mm -hmm. video. We need to redo that. Yeah. We need to redo a poke bowl video now that we've made a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. I make pretty good poke bowls. That's for sure. There's one egg. It's one egg. Okay. They're coming along. How much longer on my timer, Alexa? You got to say it the other way around. Alexa, how much longer is left on my timer? You have two minutes and 20 seconds left on your 10 minute time. Two minutes. Chef is doing clean keto, not so much fat, and intermittent fasting. Oh, yeah. The intermittent fasting is huge. I wonder why that works. There's science behind it. Yeah. Yeah. 
that you only eat between the hours of like 11 and 8, right? You, you eat in an eight-hour window, and then you don't eat for 16 hours. Yeah. I did it for how many days? And I lost like five pounds or something like that. But then some people I've heard have gained weight doing it too. So I don't know. Good for you, chef. That is awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, my eggs are almost done. Okay. Should we pull it out of the oven? They're looking very perfect and pretty. You want to show the camera what one egg looks like. A little bit higher. Oh, there we go. Perfect, babe. One egg. And you could pop the yolk in the middle? Yes. But not too I much. eat from noon until 8 p.m. I have a salad for lunch and then a salad, veggies, and 8 to 10 ounces of lean meat. Oh, that's good. Yeah, see? Eating clean is really the way to go. I mean. Not chorizo chips, salsa verde? No. Just eating clean and um, not overdoing it. Pretty good. Now you got to put the eggs on the top, and then you got to put the cilantro. Strong's Adventure says that your eggs look great, babe. Thank you. Okay. Eggs. Eggs. And then I'll hold up the cast iron because it's heavy. I'll hold it up for the camera and I'll show everybody. Okay. And then we got to take a thumbnail, babe. Okay. Don't forget about the cilantro. You're supposed to put green onions also on the top, but again, the little guy won't eat green onions. Chef says he only has 100 more pounds to go. Oh, man. Good for you, Chef. That's great. That is great. So Babe's doing some cilantro right now. And then I'll hold up the final plate. Alexa, stop. Yeah, listen to me. Quick, Alexa. Okay, babe. Okay, let me pop the egg. Do you want me to hold it up first or no? No. I just want to get a little. Here, you gotta see. Here, babe, you gotta take the. You gotta take the. What? You gotta take the thumbnail, babe. I know. I was just trying to get a little pop in the egg. Nice up close and personal thumbnail. <clears throat> and then I'm going to hold it up for the camera and show everybody what's going on here. What do you think, babe? I think it looks really good. Okay, let me hold it up for the camera. Okay. I'm off again. You're off. You're off camera again, babe. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Tell me if I'm on the right track because this camera's kind of closer, funny. closer, up higher, higher, higher. No, like back, back up, and go higher. There. Now tip it a little. Yeah, there you go. It's still pretty washed out looking. Is it? But you can see. Basically, I have perfect eggs. You can see it on Instagram. You can see it on Instagram. Josh underscore and underscore babe underscore. That looks really good, babe. Do you want me to call David down to come test it, or are you going to test it? No, I'll just test it. Okay. The all-important thumbnail. That's right. That's looks right. fantastic, says Chef. Big <clears throat> chilaquitas. Okay. It's delicious. Okay, what goes in a traditional? Corn tortillas that are in oil. Oh, fried. okay, okay. So this is the quicker version, the easy version. I wish the camera could zoom in on the egg being. I know. It's really good. Being popped. It's really good. Yeah, babe. Let me, I'm going to put it on my Instagram right now. Oh, okay. Do it. Yeah. So you can go check out his, what's it called? Cooking Cop? Yeah. You can go to his and check it out right now. Yeah. On Instagram. Okay. Let me just have a little bite and then we'll eat. The chips are, ni are nicely browned. Yeah. Which is good. And the chorizo smells amazing. There's still the, crunch, but then there's the soggy too, right? Mm -hmm. I really want to show the camera just one bite. Okay, bring it up. Without it <clears throat> crashing all over the place. Look, I don't want it to like wash out. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's good, babe. Yeah. That's a perfect, 
That looks great. That's a perfect bite. Yeah. Mm. Is it delish? That's what I was craving. <laughs> Good. Wow. Delicious. Just the right amount of crunch. Yeah. He's going to like it because it's mild. Okay, salsa good. and stuff. I would have mm -hmm. used the hotter one, but. Yeah. The cilantro, the egg, the mm -hmm. chips. Mm. Delicious. Oh, my. Oh, my, my. <laughs> oh, hell yes. <laughs> Honey, put on that party dress. <laughs> <laughs> that is very, very good. Good, babe. Okay, well, mm. thank you, everybody, for sitting here with us. No. Wow. And um, I'm glad you like it. Good job, babe. Now it's time to grub. You're becoming quite the chef yourself. You I'm Chef you? Johnny Jr. Yes, you are. <laughs> That's right. All right, babe. Kay. That's it. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. And yeah, you have to hit the little end button at the very top corner there, babe. Traditional, wait, chef says traditional chilaquiles have corn chips, eggs, and salsa or pico cooked on the stovetop. But I like the way that you all did it. Well, that's good. Thank you, Chef. <clears throat> the way we did it was pretty easy, too. And I finally got my chorizo fix that I've been craving. <laughs> yeah, babe. You love chorizo. Yeah, babe. Okay, everybody, have a good weekend. Mm. We're out. <laughs>